First, let me thank Senator Bernie Sanders for his really extraordinary leadership for stepping up uh, and trying to uh, slow down uh, this fast-moving train of the demise of the U.S. Postal Service. For 236 years, the Postal Service has served the needs of Americans in big cities, in medium-sized towns, and most importantly, in rural areas. And it's done so in a reliable and an affordable fashion. And all of that, if we don't take some immediate steps, <clears throat> is threatened. This is an important issue for the whole country, but particularly for rural America that has come to depend on reliable rural mail service for medicines, for information, to conduct business, and right now this is threatened. And as Senator Sanders said, there are solutions. I know that the Postal Service is under great pressure from Congress and from some bills that we passed that we probably have to look back and adjust. One of them is the mandate that the Postal Service be self-sufficient. I'm not sure that that is a goal that can be met. That is what the law says. Maybe that law needs to be revisited, but that's what the law says now. But the changes that Senator Sanders has recommended, looking again at modifying the pension requirements, looking at the blue ribbon panel to encourage more entrepreneurship at the post office, I think are some very good steps that could be taken so that we can have a strong postal system for all the country, but particularly for rural America. And it can be done, but it's going to take some work. I hope that we'll be joined by some of our Republican colleagues that will step up and say, we don't want to see our postal service closed in Montana or in Kansas or in Iowa or in Wyoming. We would like it to be kept just like we're trying to fight hard in Vermont along the eastern and a part of the United States and as well throughout the South. Right now, there are over 50 to 70 post offices in Louisiana that are threatened. I've been hearing from mayors and from community leaders, um, you know, outraged, and they should be, about losing the post office or losing that service that's so important. Not just for mail and communication has been said, but to conduct business in rural areas. You might get your information over the Internet. You might even process your orders over the Internet. But you need a delivery person to either pick up your packages or deliver your packages in order to be engaged in commerce. And I'm afraid that too little thought uh, has gone into the bills that are before the Congress now, although they've been amended and have gotten better as they've gone through. I think there's some additional things that can be done to strengthen the bills that are before us and to save uh, the post office as we know it. To make it more entrepreneurial, to make it more cost effective, yes. To reform it, yes, but not end it as we know it. Thank you.